guys, it's Cubing Maniac here, and today I want to talk about the new Rubik's Cube world record set by Yu Shen Du with a time of 3.47 seconds. But before I talk about that, I got a new mic, pretty exciting. I just got the Blue Yeti microphone, and I'm sorry if it's not the greatest audio quality because I just got it and I'm currently playing around with all the settings. I'm also trying to edit my audio in Audacity from now on. So that should be interesting. I've heard it could be a little bit hard, but once you get the hang of it, it'll become pretty easy. So the audio you're hearing right now is from the Blue Yeti microphone and is hopefully edited through Audacity. Also, while I talk about this, I'll have a few solves in the background. Not the greatest solves, but it's just what I average. Okay, so a person most of the cubing community has never heard of just broke the world record for 3 by 3 single. His Name is Yu Sheng Du, and he cut the world record time by almost a full second. And that's a pretty big deal. Felix Zandex previously held a world record with a time of 4.22 seconds. And before that, the world record has been broken, but there was never such a big jump in time. I know most of you guys have already seen similar videos about this world record controversy from JPerm, Jaden McNeil, Cuban Encoded, and more. So I'm not here to talk about the controversy too much. There's just one thing that amazed me so much about the filming of this world record. One of the reasons why there was so much controversy around this world record is because the solve wasn't filmed. But later, Yu Sheng Du posted a video of the solve he somehow got through the security camera. But the video wasn't the best quality, but it did get some people to shut up about calling the solve fake. But that is not what amazes me. The thing that amazed me the most was the amount of people reposting this exact same video. I know that whenever there's almost a any world record gets set, people just go straight up download the video and just post it on their channel. But for, for some reason, there are so many more people reposting this video that you shouldn't do uploaded and actually getting views off of it. I think there's a YouTube video with 20k views. It has more views than you shouldn't do this video. And it's crazy. You shouldn't do should get all the credit he made to solve. He got the video, but no, other people are getting more views than him just because they downloaded the video and just reposted it. I know some people take the video and compare it to other solves, like Felix's 4.22 world record, but there are just some people that are just downloading it. They're not putting their warm watermark in it, and they're just uploading it and hope to get views. There's so many people doing that. It's kind of annoying. Um, they're also not getting them any credit. You, sh you shouldn't do not getting any credit. They're trying to pretend... Like, they got the footage somehow, and they were behind the camera filming. Uh, the comments also, the comment section is pretty bizarre. All of them are just talking about how Felix is number two now, but no one's saying that a YouTuber just re-uploaded Yu Xing Du solve. And it, it annoys me so much, because Yu Xing Du should be getting all the credit. But Fel uh, not Felix, sorry. The person who uploaded the video is getting the... Uh, views and the credit. I don't get it. Uh, <laughs> that rhymes. Okay, so I know some people like they don't care, but as a YouTuber myself, I wouldn't like it if someone just like, for example, the saw motion I made. I wouldn't like it if just someone just downloaded it, posted on YouTube the exact same thing, put their watermark on it, and they they were just like, oh, this is my video. I made the stop motion. So for me, that's pretty annoying. That's why I just wanted to speak up. No one made a video about this. I'm just pretty annoyed for all of this. And another thing that uh, kind of annoyed me, it's not that annoying. I know I'm using the word annoyed a lot. I don't have a good vocabulary, sorry. Um, but Laser Monkey made a reconstruction of the solve. And as soon as he posted that, I saw like around at least 30 videos on a reconstruction. And they, were ex they said almost every single word that Laser Monkey said. And that kind of annoyed me too, but at least it was their own content. They actually took the time to sit down and film. Instead of those YouTubers who just downloaded the video from their laptop, from the internet, and just re-uploaded it. And yeah, that was around it for this video. I know this wasn't, this wasn't like a normal video, I just wanted to rant. Um, I'm sorry if you guys didn't like it, but I just really needed to talk about this. It, it really annoyed me. So yeah, that was it for this video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.